What's up guys? I am here with Emilio Valencia at Murrieta Valley High School. Now this guy over here is actually a two-sport athlete. He's a football player as well as a basketball player and actually his football season just finished up not too long ago sometime back in November. Now let's talk a little bit about that. How does football season and all the training that you guys have to go through really prepare you for the intense basketball season? I feel like football prepares me mentally and physically strong. Um, I do. I am in football shape when I come in basketball, so I am a little rough. But after a week, I'm way, I'm in shape for basketball and all the running. But I just feel I'm already like strong enough. I'm already in the mode of working out every day and just in the in the um, rhythm of just keep on going and all the energy and stuff. Yeah, it definitely helps you out as you get back into uh, the yeah. basketball mode. Now, here just at Marietta Valley, you've already had a couple different head coaches at this point that you've really experienced uh, your careers with. You've had a, a bunch of different assistant coaches, but let's talk a little bit about Coach Weathers here at Marietta Valley. How does he really compare to the other coaches that you've learned from? He's uh, very similar, but he has like a different way of coaching, and I really like it. You know, he's. He's easy to talk to and he's been in a basketball position already, played his uh, career, very great player. And he just knows the game very well and he can relate to us easily. And he, he's just like a player too. He wants to play, but he's, he's a coach this, uh, this year and he's just really good of knowing basketball and teaching us all he knows, all his knowledge that he's learned in his career, passing it to us. And uh, we really appreciate it and he's a really good coach. Now, before every game, everyone has there are certain rituals that they go through, you know, whether it be those specific socks you've got to wear before every game or I don't know, whatever it may be, the eye black, whatever. Is there something that you have to do before every basketball game or before every football game? Well, what I do is I always just listen to music all day, tune everything out, don't worry about anything but the game. And before any basketball game, I watch Kobe Bryant highlights, my favorite player, greatest of all time. And if it's football, I watch either Odell Beckham or Tyron Matthew college highlights. Those are like one of the best. I so, love yeah. it. Have you ever watched any uh, detail? Uh, yeah, I always watch detail. I'm always on that. I love Corey Bryant. Like, he's my favorite. Yeah. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, rap, hip hop. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. Really gets you in the mood. Yeah. Now, here you are in your junior year, mm -hmm. but uh, going back, you were on this varsity team also on your sophomore yes. year. You have been on football uh, varsity since your freshman year. So this isn't new to you, but what is really the difference between coming in as a sophomore on varsity and now being a junior, having a little more rank on this team? Uh, I feel like I just have more experience. You know, I know what's going on. I have more feel of the game and how uh, the coaches want us to play and stuff. Um, for basketball, last year I came in as a sophomore. I uh, uh, was on varsity, but I was more of a defensive guy. I didn't that was my role, just play defense, hard defense. Um, but this year, you know, I'm a little bit more than that. I got all around now, offense, everything. I just have, I feel more like, since I'm a junior, I'm more like, I have a bigger role now. I'm a leader, you know, I have to uh, teach some of the young guys. You know, there's obviously seniors still older than me. But yeah, so it's, it's a better experience. I feel more uh, knowledgeable and uh, understanding the game more. And it'll only grow from there. You still have a year, so you're going to learn a lot between now and then. Uh, what have been some memories that stand out to you here at Merida Valley? Uh, just the environment. I love the environment. You know, the coaches, awesome coaching staff, my favorite coaching staff probably ever. They're just so fun. You know, you can talk to them easily. Um, but just the MV environment, the, the spirit, the pride that we have for football and basketball, it's just different than anything else and it just makes me feel like at home and, and feel loved to be honest. It's just it's just a great place to be at. That little bit about the coaches, um, they actually paid him to say that right before this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, now just one last question. What are just a couple of goals for yourself, I guess two questions, for yourself as well as for this team? Um, to, win, to win a league championship and uh, make a run in the playoffs, that's our biggest goal to be honest, especially league championship. The Southwestern League is so intense. I'm looking forward to watching you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. That's all for this top recruit.